Creating a digital painting is often preceded by creating a drawing. These lines form the foundation of the image, even if they aren't visible in the final work. So in this video, I'll show you a process for creating clean, sketched lines. Now, first off, I should say that drawing on a USB tablet is harder in a lot of ways than it is on paper. So if you're frustrated with your drawing skills to begin with, the computer is not going to help you out. If you're just starting out, the best idea is to draw on paper and then scan the image. But for those of you who are determined to sketch digitally, and I definitely support that, I'll show you the process that I like to use. Essentially, what I'm trying to do with this process is to overcome the inaccuracy of the stylus through a series of refinements, going from fast and messy to slow and controlled. I'll start with a large round or flat brush. And in this case, I'm going to choose round. So the only point here is to keep things loose and gestural. I'm not looking for accuracy. I'm mainly just trying to get these shapes roughed out. So the proportional relationships and the measuring are more important here than the specific features. So I'm thinking about drawing through the form, being very loose and gestural. You notice I'm also zoomed all the way out so I can see the entire document while I work. So not worrying at all about clarity here, just those proportional relationships. Now that I'm finished with my gestural pass, I'm going to start on my first refining pass. And I've actually switched to two instances of the same canvas, so I can keep looking at my reference while I zoom in on one. So they're actually the same document, I've just opened it twice. So at this point, I'll lower the opacity of that first layer, make a new layer, and begin to refine. And if you've ever worked on tracing paper to refine a drawing, this is exactly the same process here. So I'm going to start looking at shapes a little more carefully and kind of picking between those big, wide, fat strokes I used before. So this is where the form becomes much more specific. And it's still not clean lines, but I'm working in such a way where my next pass can be the final version. So you'll notice that the brush diameter I'm using is smaller, and that I'm zoomed in further. And once I've finished up with this second pass, it's time to flatten these two together and lower their opacity one final time. And then I'll repeat the process with some black, clean line work. It's also a good idea at this point to increase the resolution of your document because you're going to need some extra pixels to help you get these clean lines in here. So you'll notice that I've zoomed in quite a bit here. And now this is sort of a balancing act because the more you zoom in, the more accuracy you'll have with your tablet. At the same time, you're less likely to notice large scale problems. So sometimes it's good to zoom out and check on things. But also, this is the reason you do this in passes. Hopefully you will have fixed those problems in the earlier stages. And right now you're really just putting on that final line. So here I finished out the final clean line drawing pass. Now personally, I love details and polish. So it's an exercise in self-control for me to work in passes like this. But if you've watched other videos on control paint, you'll see that this method fits into a larger pattern. Fast to slow, simple to complex. It's easy to let a painting get away from you by jumping into the details too soon. So at the end of each phase, make sure that you're completely happy before you proceed. As a rule of thumb, adding details and polish will never fix a broken underdrawing. In part two, I'm going to take a break from the line work approach and show you a totally different strategy for beginning a digital painting. Thanks for watching.